Hey, Caitlin. Hi, Sarah. Why are you so down? I have a big test on equivalent fractions, and I don't understand them. Well, I know a slideshow that can help you. Well, let's stop chatting and get right to it. So the identity property proves that if you multiply any number by one, you will get the same new number. When you multiply the numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same number, you will get an equivalent fraction. So basically, two-fifths equals six-fifteenths. Yeah, so here's another one. So let's try to figure out how many sixths two-thirds equals. So how does the identity property come in here? You guys probably know your multiplication. So three times two is six, and that is the denominator. We are also going to multiply two times two when we are multiplying the same number, and that equals four. So two-thirds equals four-sixths. Uh, okay, I understand now. Great, so how many tenths does four-fifths equal? All right, I got this. Now let me take over. By knowing and teaching you the identity property, you should know that four-fifths equals eight-tenths. Wow, I'm going to watch a lot of videos on Mr. G's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm going to ace this test.